Hello, hello, LJ here. You can call me LJD or Lee or J, whatever you call me. Uh, it doesn't matter. Today is five in the morning here in uh, Airdrie, Alberta, in Canada, and uh, I'm recording this um, session because I'd like to really uh, revive the podcast version of myself. Um, you know, just talking to you guys on, on many things, um, most importantly, personal development uh, subject. The purpose of this uh, podcast or slash uh, a video content uh, is to inspire people all around the world to act on their dreams and to transform their lives through personal development to give them the necessary tools they need to succeed in business and in life. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's um, very difficult for me to uh, stay true to this statement um, just because really life gets to us in a, in a very special way. I've started uh, podcasting a really long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> seems like I think it was uh, 2017 um, but I never really had the courage or the discipline to go through it uh, just because I've decided to start it but I decided not to follow through with it if that makes sense and it's something that um, that I'm not really <laughs> proud of um, because there are so many projects that I do uh, deal with over the years um, on top of that, I have great responsibilities in, within my family business, um, as well as uh, you know raising two kids, two small kids. Uh, and as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, there's there's a lot of distractions and there's a lot of shiny objects that uh, that pops in here and there, um, and they all look like opportunity to me. And it's something that uh, I really you know stop doing is to you know give attention to everything but then again it goes against to my belief that uh, you know opportunities are worth to be looked at um, because it could change my life in a positive way uh, but at the same time it is uh, it is very um, delicate <laughs> to fiddle around that idea just because uh, you will get into the uh, temptation of um, stopping what you have started, um, the foundation that you have built, uh, and then moving along and starting a new foundation. Uh, and then the ones that you just started uh, just fitters away and, um, and it's just heartbreaking to, to see it uh, happen. So, um, Today's session, really, I wanted to kickstart this uh, awesome content uh, by giving you an awesome speech from Jim Rohn, um, and it's something that we really need to uh, remember all the time, especially when uh, we are in a situation where life is kind of like kicking us in the butt, right? Uh, we need to stand up and get back up and kick life back but <laughs> or i don't know how to phrase that uh, part of it but what i'm trying to say is that get up and uh, let's let's follow through uh, the promises that we have made um, when we started the project or the venture that we that we are in first life is worthwhile if you learn and this is something that you know that you know it will hurt you if you don't learn because life is a f you know it, life is a form of experiences um, a negative or positive and we learn to do it by going through life and um, going through these experiences and sometimes I say that uh, there's no negative experience because from the negative experience comes out to have a lesson and it's something that um, teaches us 
uh, you know, to continue with life. And um, the cool thing about negative experiences is that you really don't need to pay to have those because it comes, this comes naturally as we, um, as we go through life. Um, there's always going to be uh, bad decisions. There's always going to be uh, negative experiences that comes into us. But then again, it's how we react and how we tackle those negative experiences. And uh, and we need to learn on the positive experiences as well because, you know, we need to nurture positive experiences and, um, and really amplify the emotions that we feel within that positive experience. Because... You know, I, I do believe in the law of attraction, like attracts like. Therefore, when you are focusing on something positive in your life and really amplifying this positivity in your life, you have that, you attract more of it. Yes, we do need to acknowledge a negative situation, um, but by acknowledging it, meaning is by learning with that particular situation. Um, second is that life is worthwhile if you try <laughs> and this is something that uh, I said earlier you know I try so many things I look at so many opportunities um, you know I start so many uh, ventures and projects and never really finish it right but at least I tried and that's something that that sticks into me that you know what um, even if I fail on a certain project, on a certain venture, at least I tried and I gave it a shot, right? You can't really count scores on a game if you really didn't play. So it's better to count losses, right, um, than not having to play at all. Obviously, you count your wins as well. Um, but what it says here that you know, you've got to try. You've got to try your best. Give it every effort, right? Um, the third one uh, is life is worthwhile if you stay. <laughs> and this is something that I said earlier too, is when you stay, you know, you stay because you want to finish it. You stay because you you want the the you know, the, the finishing touches of the foundation that you have built come into fruition. And it's something that I, um, that I've experienced many, many times in my venture is the failure to stay on the project that I am in. Uh, and when you do stay, you get to see, you know, uh, you get to see it through. So staying is uh, is really the key. Um, everything is a key. <laughs> this is the thing with 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 this uh, uh, um, <clears throat> particular uh, pondering is that everything is a key, and staying really glues it back together. <clears throat> and the other thing, I'm sorry. <clears throat> The other thing is, life is worthwhile if you care. You see, if you care at all, you will get some results. If you care enough, you can get incredible results. Care enough to make a difference. Care enough to turn somebody around. Care enough to start a new enterprise. Care enough to change it all. Care enough to be the highest producer care enough to some records and care enough to win and those are the words of Jim Rohn a very very powerful um, uh, words that really change your life around and uh, and give a little meaning to to uh, what life really is you know life is worthwhile to learn why life is worth while to try life is worthwhile to stay life is worthwhile to care so that's it guys that is the podcast episode for today and i hope to um, hear from you guys soon and i hope to for you guys to uh, uh, 
you know to learn from this beautiful um, beautiful pondering so uh, that's it that's the end of the episode and i hope to see you soon bye